Hey, it's Derek Levesque, and I just wanted to put together a quick video regarding MapReduce versus Aggregation Pipeline and the performance disparity between the two. So for the purposes of the test, we've set up a web ABI server that has two routes exposed, one for MapReduce, one for Aggregation Pipeline, so that we can kind of show the differences in both. Uh, if we take a look at the code here, you can see what we're doing in the MapReduce function is you, we're, we're essentially going to aggregate 2 million records. We're going to take roughly 2,000 items and 900 stores. We're going to roll up all 2,000 items and sum all of the net sales, all of the point of sale data, and present it back to the user. So we're looking at 2 million records of an aggregation. We're going to use MapReduce on one hand, and then we're going to use Aggregation Pipeline on the other. Uh, and we're going to show kind of that performance disparity that you're going to get. Um, here we're going to call our API route. Um, which is the MapReduce route. It's going to execute that function that we were just looking at. It's going to spin for quite a while, so I'm going to fast forward the video. It takes about 32 seconds to get the results back, but here you go. Uh, rolled up item net sales uh, in the browser. Um, again, with a 32 second response time, roughly 32,000 32, milliseconds. Um, and then we're going to check into our uh, web server here to just confirm that it did take 32,000 milliseconds to return the response back to the user, which again is roughly 30, 32 seconds to get your MapReduce function uh, to perform the aggregation. The second API call we're going to make is our aggregation pipeline call. Uh, this is the MongoDB native. Um, data aggregation mechanism. Um, so we'll take a look at that code uh, here. It's a different API route. We, we, we called the one of two before with the MapReduce. Um, so now we're looking at the aggregation pipeline code uh, that shows kind of the filtering down and the rolling up and the projection. Um, you know, we're filtering on a specific performance set, uh, pro projecting out what you want to see at the end, which then you're going to see it in the browser, which is this res.send. Um, then we'll open up Postman again and call that API route uh, to make the aggregation call executing that function that we just saw on the screen. Uh, and I don't have to fast forward the video here because this is very performant. Again, it's going to take up roughly about six seconds to get these results back. And you'll see the exact same results you got in the MapReduce function. Um, but in a much more performant manner, right? You're looking at six seconds versus 32 seconds. Um, we'll just confirm again with our web server, um, roughly 6,000 milliseconds, which equates to the six seconds response time to get the same results. So I felt it was important to talk about the difference between the two because when you think about a six second versus a 32 second time savings, that, that's a pretty big deal, especially as your data sets grow larger. Uh, so I just wanted to draw some attention between the difference between MapReduce and Aggregation Pipeline, and I really hope you enjoyed the video.